Hi, uh, this is Dong Wei. Um, I actually just joined the PCI SIG uh, Board of Directors today. And I'm here to talk about the PCIe technologies that are uh, potentially very useful for enabling the artificial intelligence and machine learning. If you look at the, uh, the consumer space out there today, uh, you, you have probably noticed that a lot of the, the uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning are penetrating our lives. For example, you know, the, the Google facilities, the, uh, the Netflix, uh, you know, the aut autonomous driving, a lot of the vision capabilities. Uh, if you go onto Amazon, you probably notice uh, that a lot of the, the purchases that, that you, you're trying to do, there are a lot of suggestions, right? The, behind the scene, there are a lot of uh, capabilities, machine learning and, and uh, artificial intelligence that are behind the scenes working for you. Uh, so, so you can notice that uh, there's a lot of opportunities there and uh, market research has uh, you know, indicated there are billion dollar market out there uh, showing up. So, you know, the, uh, the traditional CPUs are designed in a way that are handling the, the you know, the generic uh, data flows and control flows. And it's not very efficient to, uh, to deal with the, uh, the artificial intelligence, the, the compute uh, that is behind uh, a lot of these uh, technologies. Uh, so, so nowadays people are looking at uh, you know, the, the fading of the, the Moore's laws, right? So uh, a decentralized uh, computing uh, architecture is being uh, developed and people are looking at special accelerators that are uh, handling the, the uh, cryptology and uh, security, um, you know, all kinds of networking and storage accelerations that are necessary for these capabilities. And, uh, you know, certainly you, you notice that uh, a lot of people are using GPUs for uh, these kind of uh, uh, compute capabilities. And of course, people are also using FPGAs and, and ASICs for, for these kind of development as well. You know, each of these technologies have, have their dis, uh, advantages and disadvantages as well. In terms of the, uh, the capabilities, uh, what, what you're looking for is that, uh, you know, certain uh, you know, development or market segments of, of these kind of uh, compute power that, that are necessary for uh, the uh, you know, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, uh, you cannot actually put all the compute powers onto a single die. Uh, so that's why a lot of the, uh, the accelerators are actually built separately as a different chip. Uh, but of course, you, you need to, you know, kind of connect your accelerators with the CPUs, the traditional CPUs. And the way you want to do that is, is to uh, use a, a certain kind of a standard uh, interconnect such that you can connect to all kinds of uh, pro processors, right? Like the x86 or power or ARM, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, instruction set architecture as much as you, uh, you can. And PCI, uh, interconnect, uh, PCIe interconnect speci specifically, uh, is a new technology uh, that are capable of providing these kind of standard interfaces uh, for, for, for that. And there are a lot of benefits uh, for using uh, PCIe because PCIe is widely adopted, so you can certainly connect to all, all the CPU architectures through that uh, interconnect. And also the, the software programming model is standard. Uh, the, you know, the minute you use that technology, you're guaranteed to have the, you know, the capability of uh, discovery, uh, manageability, uh, configuration that are all standard. And you don't have to create everything from, from the, you know, from the start, right? So you can certainly leverage a lot of these capabilities. Also PCIe, um, 5.0 actually uh, defines a native uh, additional protocol that you can use on top of uh, the traditional PCIe. Uh, so a lot of the new capabilities that, that are necessary for accelerators, you can use PCIe uh, you know, support. Uh, also, you know, there are a lot of PCIe IP out there from different IP providers. And so a lot of opportunities from 
you know, different uh, IP providers for you to, to utilize. So this is a huge opportunity for, you know, the traditional chip vendors as well as uh, startups, right? So there's an estimated uh, growth uh, of a market of $66 billion by the year 2025. And so, you know, so these kind of uh, environment is, uh, you know, very uh, useful, right? So PCIe technology uh, gives you the ability to uh, take advantage of the standard uh, software program, uh, programming model, uh, as well as the IP availabilities, the, the native support of the protocol, uh, and, and also the, uh, you know, the, the uh, time to market, right? So, you know, for, you know, as a traditional chip vendor or a, uh, a newcomer, I think these are very attractive uh, you know, feature set or capabilities that you can take advantage of.